Johnny, I'd like to talk to you about Overwatch. Well, that's all very good and well, but we're not going to just jump in and talk about Overwatch without first referencing this. Do you know what I realised, though? What? <laughs> we, we, we recorded a video earlier today in which yeah. we play Layers of Fear, in which I go, oh, we've got a new set, isn't this nice? Yeah. And then this video is going up before that one. Yeah. So this will have happened twice. Yeah, and you're being completely nonchalant about it. Yeah. In this one, though, so. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, my f it's my first time on camera with this, and I think it's really nice. Okay, so. good. All right. Well, I'd like to talk to you about Overwatch. Okay, good. yeah, do that. Blizzard's upcoming class-based first-person shooter mm -hmm. with like loads of characters, and this week the beta's just come back. Mm -hmm. um, big, the big change that it's brought is, have you seen this like loot progression system where you open boxes and get new skins and stuff? Yeah, so I watched your video on it, actually. Excellent, that's exactly what I was after. Um, and, and that is all well and good, and you know, an interesting thing to talk about, but right. the thing I'd like to hit on today is I think they're doing an alright job of balancing the characters. Okay. Um, there's a character in, in Overwatch, there's 21 playable characters already, which is, is daft, called Bastion. Mm -hmm. Wait, there are 21 called Bastion? No, there's 21 characters, one of them is called Bastion, <laughs> okay, sorry. and his whole thing is that he he's a robot man mm -hmm. that runs around with a submachine gun, but really what he likes to do, what he really gets off on is being a turret. Yes, I remember this guy from the video you made about the first round of yep. the beta. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this, yeah, that's that's why I wanted to talk about him because in the first, like the first beta, uh, he he was a really weird character because when, the first couple of days when we started playing and no one knew how to play the game, having a character that could be a turret and literally sit on an objective, he was mowing down everyone. Right. Like he was this ridiculously powerful character. He had this shield in front of him. And he basically turns into into a turret that you can just like hold down your mouse and everyone dies. Okay. And it was awful. <laughs> it was right. really, really bad. It was like, oh god, maybe this game isn't going to be any fun. Yeah. And then slowly people realise that the cool thing about Overwatch is that you can switch heroes on the fly. So you've played a lot of Dota, right? Yes. It's like coming up against a character in Dota 2 and being like, oh god, I know a, a character that can counter that really nicely. And then being able and to And then being able to do that in the middle of a match. Wow. Okay. And so what people figured out was, okay, this guy can turn into a turret and that's all well and good, but he can only like move like this, like mm -hmm. this far. So if you get a character that can teleport behind him or do something that like gets out of his line of sight and then comes back around and attacks like his his rear where he hasn't got a big shield and yep. a turret um, you can you can just tear him down and he's like he bec and he became this really easy character to counter that was like one of the most obvious count counters you could have right it's okay like, guy can only point this way get someone that can go behind him okay so it went from having this character that was really really overpowered completely dominating the game to no one was playing him. Like right. literally, no one played him because he was he was like such an easy uh, guy to to like beat. Mm -hmm. And then this time around, they've they've changed him entirely, and they've okay. made him into this like much more mobile character. They've got rid of his shield, so he hasn't got that kind of you can't just sit in one corner and like dominate the match. But they made it so he can switch between robot man phase right. and turret phase really quickly, and uh. is way more mobile. And I don't know. I just I it seems like a like it was, a, it was a hard character to fix, but I think I think they might have done it. Mm -hmm. There sounds like a lot of work, to be honest, between the two rounds of the beta. Yeah, it was only down for like two months or something. I think it was yeah December till February, I think something like that. Um, and yeah, they, it's it's just been really refreshing because the whole thing, the reason people want to play Overwatch, other than it being a Blizzard game and that has a certain appeal on its yeah. own, is that it has this huge variety of characters. It's like Team Fortress Two, but sure, but with like more variation mm -hmm. in terms of the, the types of people you play. And actually being able to balance 21 of those is... That's quite impressive. Yeah. So how, how have your experiences with it been? Have you come up against Bastion much? Have you played much as Bastion? Yeah, and like I've enjoyed playing him for the for the first time since the very start of the beta when you could just mow people down. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, it's been really uh, refreshing. I just find it, find it interesting how, like in principle he was like, okay, he probably made sense, but you, the developers have to watch how Right. how their own community reacts to them. And it wasn't that he was overpowered and we've got to make him less powerful, it was actually that for two days he was overpowered <laughs> and then suddenly everyone figured out how to beat him. And like, yeah. that must be a really weird thing to watch as a developer and go like, okay, at which point do we actually change this? When do we step in and go, okay, yeah. this is the problem? Well, we actually said this in the Eurogame show a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about uh, beaters in general, it was, it was me and Aoife, I think, and we were talking about how in the first day or two of your of your beta, people playtest your game infinitely more than you could ever do as a company. Yeah, so absolutely. 
Yeah, yeah. did you, uh, I visited uh, Riot recently, and they they patch their game every couple of weeks, which is crazy. Um, and they said that like despite having this big QA department, within the first hour of that patch being live, it will have been play tested thousands of times more than they could have ever manage, even with the most major changes that they've really worried about. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that this one feels like an actual beta. Like I know people are annoyed, and I. I get the frustration like you want to play it like now and, and and it looks like a finished game sure but it's not like they have had to learn from the people that have played and it feels not just a promotional like here's the fun beta that you can watch people play on twitch and right. like yeah. create of the game it actually like feels that they're, they're looking at things and going oh okay right this is how we fix this before june yeah well i think um, yeah that's something you absolutely 100 percent need yeah so. especially in that like, like a competitive multiplayer game so yeah yeah, it's kind of nice. I think this is. I just wanted to follow up on this after like your conversation on whether or not betas, betas, however you say that word, um, whether they're not sometimes they're they're being used as kind of like these promotional tools. It's just part of the marketing campaign. Yeah, sure. No, I mean, that happens a lot. This one feels like they've they've learned from like yeah how their community have used their characters. Yeah, well, good. I don't have access, so I'm just going to have to continue enjoying it <laughs> vicariously through you. But uh, what about you guys? Are you playing? Uh, are you playing as Bastion? Are you not? <laughs> Tell us, and we will find it interesting. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, oh, it's purple. Purple's good. Purple means epic. I wonder, really, I do wonder whether I'm just getting special treatment because we're currently in the closed beta. Who knows? So what is that? It's a skin for Zinyata, and it's the Harmonious skin, and it looks rather cool. So yeah, why not? You've got to equip the rarer skins so everyone knows that you've uh, you've had a good time in the loot boxes.